Hey guys, we are here at Stoke Studios again today and we're talking about iced coffee because a lot of people ask us uh, what our method is for making matchless. Uh, they ask whether it's cold brew and it's actually not. Instead we use a process that we call flash chilling which is sort of a variant of Japanese style or ice brew. Essentially the concept is that you take hot coffee uh, and then you bring it down to temperature really quickly, either by brewing a concentrate over ice or just by dropping uh, the temperature of the whole batch. When you're brewing hot, you're actually able to extract a lot more of those volatile compounds that are in the coffee uh, that cold water can't pull out. Uh, it also ends up being a little, bit, uh, a little bit lighter and more refreshing, so that lends itself to being carbonated and uh, just giving you that like nice bright experience that, that you really love about Matchless. Uh, what you need for this is uh, some coffee, obviously. We need uh, scale, because everything is easier when you're measuring by mass. You need some kind of pour over device. You can use a V60 or a Kalita. I'm using a Chemex because this is how I first made coffee soda. You really just need something underneath it to hold the ice while you're brewing. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is some hot water. I have this fancy Bonavita that has a variable temp and it's super easy to control. So that's why I, I use it. It also has this really nice swan neck uh, pour spout. And they're not usually this busted. I just dropped it on the ground. So let's get started and make some coffee. So it's actually really fun because this is the first place that we served coffee soda to the public. I'm just going to do a really simple recipe. You can find all kinds of uh, different ways to do this online. But this is this is what I do at home. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got our coffee, which is ground to sort of uh, like a coarse, like sea salt consistency. I've got my filter, and I've got the ice. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually rinse this filter because it tastes like paper, and we don't want it to taste like paper. So take your hot water, just give it a nice rinse. And then you're gonna dump that. Then what we're gonna do is add our ice. Uh, this is about 300 grams of ice. Uh, I'm doing uh, a ratio of one part coffee to 16 parts water, um, which in this scenario is 50 grams of coffee to 800 grams of water. Some of that water, 300 grams, is gonna be ice. And we're gonna take our filter Place it on top with the three folds toward the spout so that it doesn't collapse into that spout. Make sure it's seated nice and even. Zero your scale out and then add your coffee. Just make sure it's evenly distributed. And then another thing that I like to do, which just kind of makes this process a little bit easier, but you don't have to do it, is uh, making a little bit of a divot in the center so that you can, you can pour your water straight into that divot and it saturates things. Uh, a little bit more evenly. Okay, so we're ready to brew. We've got uh, 50 grams of coffee, 300 grams of ice, and we're gonna add 500 grams of hot water. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bloom this coffee. There's actually a lot of gases that are trapped in those cell walls. When you grind it, it releases them, but they fight against extraction. So we wanna kind of like unlock the coffee with a bloom. So we're gonna add uh, about twice the mass of your coffee in water, so we have 50 grams, we're gonna add about 100 grams of water to it, uh, just to make sure it's fully saturated, and then I'm gonna stir it a little bit to make sure that uh, we get water throughout. Uh, now that the coffee is bloomed, we're just gonna add water in stages, making sure that everything is as evenly extracted as we can get it. I'm just kind of like making sure that it's all submerged all in the slurry there. Just add a little bit at a time. Try and keep about the same level. You don't want to fill it all the way up, but you do want to keep a decent amount of, of hot water in there. So that's it. I like to give it a little swirl to kind of dissolve the rest of that ice. 
And of course, uh, this should now be at the proper strength to drink. So we can just pour it straight over ice. You can add cream and sugar if you like. Now you have a nice, refreshing, flash chilled coffee. All right, that's it. Now you know how to make iced coffee at home. I'm Nathaniel Marins, the creator of Matchless Coffee Soda, and we're actually doing a Kickstarter right now to raise money to put it into cans. So if you're interested in supporting that, you can go to www.matchlesscoffeesoda.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, just at Matchless Co. Thanks for watching. Cheers.